Our cultural journey begins in Estado de Mexico with none other than Jax Tranquita. You're here. You're in Estado de Mexico and it's like a whole nother world. From the markets of Metapec to the streets of Valle de Bravo, every turn is greeted by a long and rich history steeped in pride, culture, and tradition. Located just 60 miles from Mexico City and often abbreviated Edomex, Estado de Mexico is brimming with miles of natural beauty and archaeological wonders, with one of its most popular being the ancient city of Teotihuacan. Home to one of the largest pyramids in the world, Teotihuacan was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. And I'm about to get a bird's eye view of these magical monuments. We're about to get in a human-sized picnic basket and go up into the clouds. We are officially off the ground. There are a few things I would wake up for before sunrise and be happy about, and this happens to be one of them. Like the only word for it is breathtaking. What does Teotihuacan mean? It's from the Nahuatl language. In Mexico, we say, el lugar donde los hombres se convierten en dioses. Okay, so the place where men became gods. Yeah. And it's the most visited place in all of Mexico? Al momento es la zona arqueológica más visitada del mundo, después que las pirámides de Egipto. Para los mexicanos es el mejor lugar, es lo que nos da identidad como mexicano. Y por supuesto que personas extranjeras lo visiten, es lo mejor. The view from above is magnificent, but what makes Teotihuacan truly special is the feeling you get the closer you are to its sacred grounds. Oh, it's amazing. Pirámide del Sol. Yes, Pirámide del Sol. How did they build this? So the most spectacular buildings in the world were dedicated to gods. Yeah. And this one was dedicated to gods. Well, I'm praying to the gods that I can get up those steps. Let's do this. How many steps are there? 245. Now, why do people climb this? Well, my ancestors use this one to pray. Today we climb because we want to have a spectacular view. This view is unbelievable. It's so lush. You ready to tackle the next beast? Let's do it. Slow and steady. <laughs> Every year, thousands of visitors ascend the pyramid to absorb the positive energy of the sun upon reaching the top. We made it! You get up here and you feel like the peace and the energy and the spirituality and the history of this place. Aztecs came here and they had not seen a more magical place than this one. They said, sun, moon, life, man, and time were created here in Teotihuacan, yeah. the most sacred place of the universe and the center of the universe. I feel like I'm at the center of the universe, right here at the tippy top of my very first pyramid. <laughs> Feeling re-energized, I continue my journey to another UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the state's several, quote, magic towns, Tepotzatlan. So I know Tepotzatlan is known as a magic town, but what is a magic town? Well, a magic town in Mexico is a place, a small town, where you have a lot of history, splendor, uh, ancient buildings, a lot of traditions, legends. Framed by cobblestone alleys lined with colonial architecture, Tepotzatlan is a picturesque town, seemingly frozen in time. And the main reason why Tepotzatlan is called a magic town, that is the Museo Nacional del Virreinato, a very ancient building uh, constructed uh, by the Society of Jesus in the 17th century. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like this building in this land is sort of the heart of the town and everyone takes such good care of it. It is the pride of the town uh, because it has all their history. The enchantment of Estado de Mexico breezes from one magic town to the next, bringing us two hours south to Valle de Bravo. Here, the cobblestones come alive with the vibrancy of Mexico's culture and people. And while I could happily wander through this town all day, everyone's so nice here. Among Valle de Bravo's greatest attractions are its gorgeous landscapes, which are best experienced with a sense of adventure. This is amazing! Oh my god, we're like right above the street! 
<laughs> it's magic, like seriously magic. You gotta try this. I don't think I've ever been anywhere like Estado New Mexico. Like there's everything here. Mountains, sea, air, history. I've done so much in just a few days and it's all right here within a few hours of each other and it's, it's the best. And speaking of the best, our next stop on this cultural adventure brings us to what's considered one of the best restaurants in Latin America, Amaranta, located in the state capital, Toluca. Led by chef Pablo Salas, the menu at Amaranta reflects a cuisine unique to Estado de Mexico with a progressive twist. So this is a big fit. Okay. Well, really, this is what we eat. Like, you can go right now on some to the market. You can find a pot of clay with the pig feet. And I think people, they don't really like to see it like that. The whole hand or the whole feet. Yeah. So you make carpaccio. We have these ingredients, we have to use it. And that same approach applies to even the most typical of Mexican dishes. These are not your ordinary tacos. We've got fish <laughs> egg tacos and tripe. This is not what you think of when you think of Mexican cuisine. No, not at all. I'm gonna start with one bite of pig foot. Mm. The carpaccio is very like umami and creamy almost, like very fatty. And so all the vegetables on top and it just cuts right through it. Mm. The herbs and vegetables are sourced from Amaranta's rooftop garden and everything else from local vendors. I go to the markets every week. We try to reinterpret the, all these dishes, all these ingredients, and that's what really inspires me. Fish egg taco. Mmm. That is like the ocean in a taco. So good. Big stomach. Mmm. I love that. I would not expect it to be that crunchy. It's almost like a chicharrones taco. Street food just elevated to a whole new level. So many flavors. I'm really glad that you look at the state of Mexico. We have a lot of great ingredients, great food, great techniques. Well, thank you, Chef. Thank you for showing me a whole new part of Mexico that I never knew existed, but I'm so glad it does. History, adventure, beauty, culture, and all within arm's reach. That is the magic of Estado de Mexico, and I've officially fallen under its spell.